what makes a good beat to me. Um, something that makes me want to dance. Me personally, I like good drums, good bass, something that makes you move uncontrollably. It's like any noise, there's something in it, there's like a quality to it that like resonates in, in you. And you're like, ah, I feel that. I want to welcome you to Push Your Buttons number 12, the one year anniversary. This is a producer get down. You see all of this equipment up here. This wooden floor is not lava. You are more than welcome to come up, interact with these producers as they perform live for you. You'll go to hip hop shows and it's just MCs and the producers are always, and DJs are always in the background kind of. And this one, we just wanted to make it kind of a chill night where our producers will come out and just kind of display the stuff that never really made like the albums. A lot of guys had gotten together and say, hey, it would be cool if we could just session, uh, just kind of like how bands practice, just get a bunch of producers together. It's very gear-based. We encourage them to bring their, their drum machines, synths, whatever they feel comfortable playing live on, instead of, as opposed to just like playing a beat on a computer. It's like a curated open mic where Fenny will get like six to eight people to come in and play for 15 to 20 minutes. He says, we want you to host. I say, it's perfect. And then uh, it all came together. So what I need y'all to do right now is make some noise for Lab Mom! Maybe this is people who just like hang out in their bedrooms and do this for themselves and don't have an audience. Got safety tools, but I'm not scared. Brakes are good, tires are fair. Or people in town that have an audience online but never play out. They arrested me, threw me in jail, called my pappy to throw my bell. He said, son, you're gonna drop me to drinking if you don't stop driving that hot rod Lincoln. Thank you, good night. So Fenny started the night a year ago. He just wanted to get all the local producers out, create a scene without creating a scene so much. Created a, basically like a safe place so producers could gather and show off. Put your hands together for Kevin Howley. And then it, six months later, basically turned into a scene. This is a very special episode of the Kevin Dowling Fitness Hour because tonight we are live at Pushing Buttons. We're like a community of producers and there's a lot of really good stuff in Tucson. A lot of people started coming out of the woodwork that nobody knew about. They heard about the night and they showed up and they were like, hey, can we play next? It could be like real hype beats, could be banger stuff. It's, and it's not just hip hop, it's a lot of, like, there's a lot of electronic. We've had some house producers get down. I've never been so happy in my entire life. What are you pushing buttons on? Oh man, well let me tell you. Uh, I am pushing buttons on a Teenage Engineering OP1. Uh, it is a synthesizer out of Sweden, and it is one of my favorite things in the whole world. Ten years ago, it was a lot harder to do something just like that. You would just play the song, but now you can actually like manipulate it because there's so many different controllers and it's a lot easier now, I think. What you put your buttons on? I'm on a Boss RC 505 Looper, Techniques 1200, and a mixer, Goodwill Toys, and instruments. Hey, yo, shout outs to coming up on 1200 at Goodwill, son. Goodwill is like that. <laughs>
people that don't know, tell them. What are you pushing buttons on? MPC 2500. That's the new new. For, for all y'all producers out there, that's the new new. Hey, cheers to Mr. Wynn. Mr. Tim Wynn. How you do the cuts? Just tell them how you do the cuts. So I take a pad, I put the noise on the pad, I put the slider on pitch, and when you go up, the sound goes high, and when you go down, the sound goes low, so you emulate the scratching. The ring. <laughs> night has totally fleshed out something that was there but didn't have a place or even an audience outside of the internet. I'm going to finish my chartreuse, but while I do that, what I need y'all to do is make some noise for Sleepy Tiger! big in the growing and coming together of, uh, I wouldn't say Tucson hip hop, I would say Tucson music. <laughs> Your nerd beat night. <laughs> Before this, we were just having random nights like at the house. It's just really awesome to be able to have a community that vibes on it all gets inspired by it all, supports it back. Yeah. Brad. Brad. 